Uh, first, uh, first of all, um, I'd like to uh, thank uh, SGT committee uh, for inviting me uh, in this uh, year. So uh, I'd like to uh, uh, talk, talk about nucleic acid and gene delivery system uh, by the combination of nanobubbles and root sound. Uh, first of all, uh, I'll uh, explain about uh, background briefly. Um, gene therapy is promising for the treatment of many diseases, including uh, cancer and genetic diseases. Oh. From the viewpoint of uh, safety, uh, root sound uh, mediated uh, gene delivery with uh, nano and micro were recently uh, developed as no novel non viral vector system. And U.S. mediated uh, nucleic acid uh, gene delivery using uh, nano and microbubble are able to uh, produce a transient change in the permeability of the cell membrane after the U.S. induced cavitation while reducing cellular damage and enable the tissue specific or uh, site specific intracellular delivery of uh, gene uh, both in vitro and in vivo. In our case, uh, using uh, liposomal uh, technologies, we have re recently developed a no novel repeat based nano bubble, uh, we so, uh, called uh, bubble repsome. Uh, this uh, nanobubble can also be used to enhance the effectiveness of uh, US mediated uh, gene delivery uh, and uh, also US imaging function as a US imaging agent. In, in this symposium, I'd like to talk about U.S. mediated delivery system combined with a lipid based nanobubble and discuss uh, their feasibility as a promising method for targeting and non-invasive uh, gene therapy. Our project aim is, first one is to uh, develop a feasible uh, nucleic acid and gene delivery tool using liposomal technology. And next one is uh, expert Establish the feasible combination method of nanobubble and root sound for the non-invasive nucleic acid or gene therapy toward intractable diseases. And the last one is to establish ceranostics, and this means diagnosis plus therapy using ultrasound and liposomal technology. So far, uh, we, we have uh, developed uh, several uh, different types of uh, uh, nanobubble uh, like this. Uh, for example, a, a neutral repeat containing nanobubble and also a cationic or anionic repeat contain, uh, containing uh, nanobubble. These are also useful for the gene delivery, sorry, local or systemic delivery to the multimodal, to deliver the multimodal therapeutics. This slide shows our research, research outcome in vivo study. And today, uh, I have uh, no enough time, so uh, we have, uh, I have focused on the uh, muscular dystrophy, uh, delivery route uh, lo local and systemic. And, uh, and delivered uh, molecule is uh, morpholino oligo, uh, so-called PMO, and target tissue, of course, uh, skeletal mass and ha heart and di di uh, muscle also. So in this symposium, uh, uh, two, 
two application uh, uh, I'll uh, explain uh, for you. So first one is uh, using neutral repeat containing nanobubble bubble, uh, for local delivery. As you may know, uh, DMD uh, patient uh, is X-linked uh, disorder, uh, also uh, char uh, characterized uh, by progressive uh, muscle atrophy and weakness, and also de degeneration and regeneration of muscle fiber. Mechanism of DMD onset uh, is uh, DMD uh, patient has uh, gistrophene gene mutation. Uh, this uh, this uh, is uh, due, due to the detection of uh, gistrophene pro protein. Several researchers uh, uh, have been uh, developed the method of uh, gene therapy using uh, AAB, uh, stem cell transport, uh, plantation, and also exon skipping therapy but still need uh, safe and efficient uh, nucleic acid or gene therapy for DMD treatment. So uh, as you may know, uh, current exon skipping therapy using antisense oligonucleotide as clinical application of uh, DMD is approved by FDA uh, 2016. Uh, that name is Etepurilsen produced by Sarepta. Um, feature of PMO is uh, resistant to RNS and very stable in vivo and uh, act in a sequence specific manner. However, this st uh, strategy needs high dose ad administration of uh, PMO and repeated injection due to the low cell permeability, also highly cost. Therefore, uh, development of a nuclear delivery system for dystrophin gene expression with high efficiency and low dosage, uh, dosage is required. So first question is, uh, PMO, uh, PMO delivery can be, can be enhanced by uh, the combination method of nanobubble and ultrasound. So in this case, uh, we used a neutral bubble uh, and PMO, just mixing, and uh, injected uh, uh, locally. After that, uh, we check the uh, recovery of the uh, expression by uh, ex exon sk skipping. So this slide shows a uh, um, me method. Um, after, uh, so MDX was injected with uh, PMO and nanobubble, uh, immediately applied uh, with uh, root sound, and two weeks after, uh, corrected the muscle and, uh, and then analyzed. In this case, uh, we uh, used uh, this root sound condition. Also, uh, this condition, uh, optimized uh, by a uh, reporter gene uh, transfection assay. So if uh, successfully uh, AONO delivery into the nucleus, in that case, uh, exon skipping uh, is uh, occur and uh, leading to the recovery of the uh, gistrophin protein. So this is a uh, first result of uh, the uh, detection of exon uh, 23, and this is, has a stop codon in uh, MDX model mass. Um, we check the uh, RT-PCR analysis. So as you can see, so in the treatment of uh, uh, nanobubble and ultrasound exposure, in that case, um, Exon skipping uh, band uh, can be enhanced uh, compared to uh, PMO injection alone. So next slide shows that dystrophin uh, uh, protein expression um, by immunohistochemistry. Uh, 
So also, as you can see, uh, in the uh, case of uh, nanobubble and ultrasound exposure, uh, significantly higher uh, protein expression uh, can be seen. Uh, also, and uh, this is uh, lower magnif uh, magnification, uh, enlarged uh, express area uh, also could be uh, observed. And this is calculated uh, data. So this is uh, this uh, slide shows uh, uh, myofiber uh, plasma membrane integrity. Um, after uh, uh, two, two weeks, uh, two weeks after uh, treatment of um, bubble lip, uh, nano bubble and ultrasound with PMO, and then. Um, Evans blue dye uh, injected. So this uh, photograph shows that uh, uh, red, red means uh, non-specific uptake of um, Evans blue dye. So as you can see, uh, after the uh, uh, treatment with uh, nanobubble and ultrasound exposure, um, and dejection of uh, of the dye uh, could be seen. This is a brief summary. Uh, local injection of PMO by combination of nanobubble and ultrasound. Uh, exome skipping efficiency enhanced also dystrophin uh, expression and also regional expression area also uh, enhanced. So next one is uh, for the uh, systemic delivery. In this case, uh, we used anionic uh, limit containing nanobubble. Uh, also, we uh, developed. Uh, then uh, applied, uh, applied uh, for the uh, delivery of the heart or diaphragm muscle. So why need to uh, deliver into the heart or respir uh, respiratory muscle? Uh, so applicatory uh, uh, half of the death of uh, DMD patient are reported to be a heart or uh, respiratory failure. And also, especially delivery of uh, PMO into heart is poor. So in this study, to recover dystrophin expression, in DMD heart or diaphragm muscle, we deliver PMO into their muscle by the combination PMO lo loaded nanobubble and ultrasound exposure. So to achieve efficient and systemic co-delivery, it is important to consider the correlation between PMO and nanobubble in blood circulation. But PMO is charge neutral and difficult to load on the nanobubble by electrostatic interaction. So like this. So if prepared uh, PMO modified with posit positively charged moiety and nanobubble contained with negatib negatively charged uh, lipid, it is e expected that it is easy to uh, load PMO on the na uh, nanobubble by electrostatic interaction and enable to co-delivery system. So uh, we, we developed a uh, uh, PMO loaded uh, nanobubble. In this case, uh, we used uh, oreo -al peptide. Uh, as you may know, this peptide uh, cationic uh, also, a penetrating peptide. So P PMO uh, was conjugated uh, with uh, this peptide. After that, uh, easy to uh, lo load it on the anionic lipid containing nanobubble. In this case, uh, after preparing uh, this mean diameter, also uh, 500 uh, na nanometer. So this. This result shows the uh, interaction of uh, PMO and na nanobubble uh, by uh, flow cytometry. So as you can see, uh, so P 
PMO uh, could be uh, loaded on the uh, dose, uh, depend dose dependently. So next step, uh, we uh, evaluate uh, of the, of the in vivo stability of uh, PMO loaded nanobubble uh, you, you, by using uh, US imaging echocardiography. Uh, if nanobubble are stable in vivo blood circulation, in that case, echo signal uh, from heart can be detected by US imaging. So in this case, uh, First, first of all, a nanobubble uh, can be injected by tail vein. After that, uh, immediately uh, diagnosed Im imaging uh, applied like this. So uh, this uh, US imaging uh, uh, upper panel uh, means uh, without uh, P PMO. So this signal, very, very sh signal, um, in this case, uh, just uh, 10 minutes, but uh, uh, up to half an hour st still uh, circulation can, uh, could be uh, observed. And then a lower panel uh, case is uh, PML loaded. Even, even after the uh, loading, uh, still uh, this bubble uh, was uh, stable. So next step, we tried to uh, uh, check the uh, therapeutic activity. Uh, this uh, PMO lo loaded nanobubble uh, injected by tail vein. After that, immediately uh, US exposure applied on the uh, heart uh, by uh, transdermally. After that, uh, six. Uh, six, just six hours, uh, uh, th that uh, heart uh, collected, uh, and then uh, first of all check the uh, distribution of PMO. This slide shows the distribution of FI, uh, F, F, uh, uh, fluorescent labeled PMO in treated heart muscle. So in this case, so uh, when uh, when you uh, inject uh, PMO alone, almost no no signal. But when when you use um, especially anionic uh, lipid nanobubble, uh, significantly higher uh, signal uh, can be seen like this. So next step, uh, we check the uh, effect of the uh, P PMO delivery. So this, this slide shows the uh, gisulfine protein expression. So in this case, just PMO or uh, oligoalanine modified PMO uh, injection. Uh, in this case, no, no signal uh, could be seen. In contrast, if, uh, if you use uh, annual lipid uh, nanobubble, so, so in this case, uh, just uh, PMO mixed with uh, annual lipid nanobubble, a small amount of signal uh, could be observed. And also, if you use uh, R, uh, oligoalanine PMO ro loaded nanobubble, in this case, uh, significant country higher po uh, positive fiber uh, could be seen. So this is a number of distorting positive fiber. Uh, so and then also assess the uh, toxicity after the treatment. In this case, we check the uh, creatine kina kinase in serum. Uh, this means creatine kinase uh, secretion in serum means uh, muscle damage. So even after the uh, US to, uh, and nanobubble treatment, after uh, 20, uh, 24 hours, almost uh, 
uh, return to the uh, basal level. So uh, this uh, method uh, may be a safe method. And also we check the uh, effective non-bubble and ultrasound on cardiac, uh, cardiac function. So, so we check the, the myo, uh, cardium and contracti uh, con and uh, heart pump function. So as you can see, uh, uh, this blue, blue color shows show the uh, pre-injection. -in uh, red color shows the post-treatment. So as you can see, uh, no side effect uh, could be uh, seen. So next step uh, to check the, uh, deliver the uh, diaphragm muscle. So in this case, uh, when, the, um, when you use uh, PMO loaded nanobubble, in this case, a uh, significantly higher positive uh, gistrophin could be seen. So r last data is check the um, myofiber plasma membrane integrity. So after the treatment with nanobubble and uh, PMO. So in, in this case, uh, dye uptake uh, could, uh, could, could be inhibited. So this is my conclusion. Uh, local PMO delivery into skeletal muscle of MDX mass can be improved by the combination of neutral repeat containing uh, nanobubble and sound exposure. Uh, next one is uh, systemic PMO delivery into heart or uh, diaphragm muscle can be partially improved by the combination of anionic repeat containing nanobubble and exposure. So this US mediated nanobubble technique may provide an effective non-invasive method for the uh, nucleic acid or gene therapy in DMD treatment. So future, uh, we'd like to establish a uh, ceramic uh, system toward uh, intractable diseases. So finally, I'd like to uh, thanks to uh, our collaborator and also thanks for this uh, finding. Thank you for your uh, kind attention. Thank you, we can take any questions. Yes. My first is, so this work was done in mice, if I understand correctly. Are you planning to transition to larger animal models? And if so, how are you planning to overcome the challenge of tissue attenuation for transplant? Yeah, actually, so uh, I, I, I'd like to move to the uh, more ra larger animal. But so far, uh, it's difficult to, to do that. So in the future, I'd like to try that. And second, I'm wondering what the size of your nanobubble is. Uh, almost uh, sub-micron, 500 uh, nanometer. said the, for the heart uh, study, you can localize, you, you use a systemic <coughs> delivery. So how does that uh, uh, localize into the, into the heart? Did you uh, have nanobubbles <coughs> loaded with PMO? Lo localize it in the heart? Yes, in the, in the mild diaphragms, diaphragms. Because you use systematic delivery, right? But your treatment is in the heart. Uh, so, sorry, uh, could you say that again, please? So when you uh, inject 
your nano bubbles with PMO, mm -hmm. so but your treatment is in the heart, right? So yeah. how do you how do you know when your micro nano bubbles are localized in the heart? Uh, not not uh, just uh, such, uh, under circulation. So um, U.S. Um, probe applied immediately applied after injection. I see. So, so they will, some of the nanobubbles will... Yeah, some nanobubble uh, still yeah, cir well, circulation, well, maybe. I yeah. I, so. I have a follow-up question to that. Have you ever tried myocardial injection like they showed yesterday with electroporation? So you could inject the heart directly with the bubbles? And directly? Yeah, instead of doing systemic. Yeah, I, I have ne never done that. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, that's all. Um, I'd like to thank all the speakers for a wonderful session, and thank you for coming this morning.